Alright, and now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Sri Lanka here on our Lord Master channel. In which, you know, in the previous episode, our great Agarada, the Jayaba who passed away, to he died of old age at 64, whilst on a grand taxation tour in Tambapani. In which he died during a cultural festival while in Vani. And now, um, in the early part of the uh, reign of our newest Agarada, Vijayabahu, son of Vijayabahu. Yes. And this is his um, newborn son, Gajabahu. And, uh, I don't remember the name of his wife, I apologize, but memory escapes me at the moment, but we'll just get right to the business and task at hand. Also, I've noticed recently, as far as world map is concerned, over at the Seljuk, they had an empire, but it's a sultanate now. What happened? Destroyed. In fact, two months ago almost two months to the day, that the Seljuk Empire was destroyed. I have to assume all of them, especially the powerful Khorasan, as the family was split, and we can assume that, um... All right, let me see. Aha! There it is. Disillusion War. These truces here are the people responsible? So we don't know if there was actually a war that occurred there. In fact, let me see the memories. When did this happen? You became ruler of Persian Empire or Seljuk Empire. Some fought in liberation wars, but the end of that. Amir Suleiman is the one responsible. Declared a realm disillusion war against Sultan uh, Sobuk. So that's what happened. It was this man, a Bedouin, huh, from the uh, from the Emirate of Baghdad. So this is the man who is responsible for bringing everybody together of all the other uh, factions and then um, the Seljuk Empire is now destroyed, divided into smaller pieces and, and divided in half by two great sultanates. Even though the Crusade era has started, but no Crusade has been declared as of yet, but this makes it all more vulnerable in the Emir of Palestine, because that makes them a prime target for the future um, Crusade, if there's, if there's going to take place. Even Egypt too is split, because I recall there was the Fatimids, yes, they've had a caliphate, but... What happened to the Kingdom of Egypt? Destroyed as well. It happened on this watch. Uh, can we read his memories? Became ruler of Alexandria. Then um, became the ruler of Egypt. But how did he lost? 
It doesn't say. I guess it was dissolved peacefully, like Vax formed together, threatened war, and then um, then dissolved that. Well, to be fair, it's forgiving, humble. Very rational, so must have gave in to the demands to dissolve the realm, and did. Things have been changing in the Middle East and North Africa. While well, India, well, you know how it is, and many people in India, all its many divided entities and states. But down here in Tambapani, we too had a change recently, and that's the change of rulers. And, and around being a little more decentralized. Even though I sometimes wish I had the the, uh, the duchy tiles for myself so I can destroy them. So we can keep things decentralized instead of being the sun have being centralized. With the, I mean, you get what I mean, right? Because, you know, the more vassals they are, the more, you know, they can go around to contribute to the... Uh, Sri Lanka Sangha struggle. What's he been doing? No idea. Two's over there. Anuradhapura. University, perhaps? Is there an age limit to going to university, by the way? I don't think it says, but I would assume they wouldn't send you there if you were a child. But anyways, we were fresh off from our own um, grand tour. We should do that every 10 years. Until we hold another taxation tour. But for now, I want to do two things before we kind of settle down here. One is to do a relic veneration in Tamapani, and then go to the university. So it's time to plan the relic veneration. But we're doing things differently. Previously under the reign of Ajay Bahu, did it for the Dharmadhatu. But since I'm a patron of the Mahavihara, we're going to go for the veneration of the sacred Bodhi tree. When Emperor Ashoka's daughter, the great nun um, Sangamita, come to Tambapan, came to Tambapani, she brought the piece of a sacred Bodhi tree from Mugan with her, the same tree where Lord Buddha gained enlightenment. This will increase the prominence of the Mahavihara monastery while decreasing the prominence of the Abhayagiri and Jetavana. As Jetavana became the most prominent now, and it's time to give Mahavihara a chance to gain its own prominence in a big way. I have pleasant to contribute to hopefully by during the next decade or so. That we will go into the phase of accumulation that would benefit all of us economically and more. Just be safe and, of course, do it just like father. Travel log. I'll slow down the, the travel speed. I'm going to take my sweet time getting there while being safe out there. Oh, and while we're at it, I have to leave on a road reporter. Also visit here and then come back. Just a little around. So we could get to both of these points of interest again. Learning lifestyle. And can manage these guests here. Some may, some may not be here. Knights can go too, even if they're not patrons, but perhaps they could be inspired by others. Right. Let's begin. Ah, 
I am now traveling to Anuradhapura to venerate the sacred Bodhi tree. Buddhist devotees from all over Tambapani come to this sacred space to venerate the relic as a way to honor the three jewels, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. As a Theravada, this will undoubtedly be a wonderful spiritual ex experience. May the three jewels protect us on our journey. Prevent factionalism. Also, what's the name of my market again? Oh, they carry my feet. And we finally got hereditary rule, although a few years too late had Vijay Bahu had lived. Additional buildings thought to be excellent, but though I can't be building castle buildings because that leads to purification. But it doesn't hurt for our, for the rest of our culture. So I gotta go with that. It'll be 11 years time. Visited on Aradapura. I gotta go for this first because I have a son and heir to raise. Because I have groomed the rule, which will gain one to three extra skill points. And then uh, this one will have my wards gain additional skills and can become my friend. Not to mention learning another language. Success chance going up because I'm trying to learn Tanu. You served my father well. Died of cancer. At last, I have arrived in Anuradhapura to venerate the sacred Bodhi tree. This tree was planted many years ago when Sangamita, the daughter of the great emperor Ashoka, came to Tambapani to spread the Dharma among the people there. She brought a branch of the original tree where Lord Buddha is said to have sat under as he attained enlightenment. That branch is the origin of the Bodhi tree here. Since then, Many have come to honor the tree by partaking in ceremonies to bathe, care for, and make offerings to it. I aspire to do the same things now that I'm here. Let us rest and prepare for this fest. Buddhist temples in Tamapani often have Bodhi trees and and Bodhi Puja ceremonies to venerate these trees are a common sight. The tree in Anuradhapura, however, is no ordinary tree. It is the original great Bodhi tree, a towering figure, beautiful in its own ancient venerable way, and surrounded by many devotees. Like other devotees gathered here, I, part I take part in various rituals, from prayer to Second moment they ding around it to leaving offerings of coconut oil lamps and other auspicious items like flowers, fruits, incense, coins washed in saffron water, and more. I also hang flags on a tree's branches with the hopes that my wishes will be fulfilled. Bathing the tree is the most important ritual, however. The Bodhi tree has a staff of monks and dedicated lay people who water the tree and clean it daily in order to accrue great merit. This, however, differs from the bathing ceremony that I and the other devotees are not doing are now doing. With scented water, we wash the tree lovingly as if we were the Lord Buddha himself. After all, we do not worship the tree itself but honor it as a symbol of the Buddha. As we complete the ceremony, we circumambulate the tree uh, once more, saying various prayers. I recite the common prayer stanza. I pay homage to this Bodhi tree under which the teacher sat 
attaining omniscience by overcoming all foes. I will also make offerings to this great Bodhi tree which was honored by the leader of the world. I pay homage to you, King Bodhi. Truly, it is as if the Lord Buddha were here. My visit to Anuradhapura to engage in a relic venery ceremony has come to an end. What joy, what fulfillment, what peace, what contentment. However, as the Buddha taught, all things are impermanent, including this trip. It is time to go back home and reflect on everything that has happened. I am glad that I found time for this all in all. From its of my vow increases catching up to the Bayagiri and uh, Jetavana eventually. Gained a major veneration of the Bodhi tree for the next 10 years. Very, very good. I'm glad the prominence has increased big time because I think certain characters within. Tambapani have been building Buddhist structures. That's the only way to that. And they could have done this. They've probably been serving up a lot of money and then they decided to build either a, a, a stupa or a uh, monastery or a temple. All in all, glad to see all of it is above 150. Not to mention irrigation tanks. Don't forget, some of them may have constructed irrigation tanks of whoever they uh, are patrons of. I know I would love to do it myself, but Money's going elsewhere. Oh. Yes. Just taking my sweet time to walk. Seven days. We're right going first of May. Well, let me see. How much does it cost if I want to study hard? Right here. Three hundred. Fair enough. Before I go to the university, let's hold court. The next petitioner is would have a somewhat of a stranger's court, as I do not recognize him. In the eyes of the Senate Varadigrama, um, have been on them since they first entered. My lord, I come to declare that the people of Ani are refusing to pay the tax you levied upon us. In times past, our land and our and people were granted rights and privileges, which your recent actations ignore. We request that you address our concerns fairly, or else. Who are you? I'm a sick. Because I was about to say, you're not Tamil, where do you come from? Traveler, wanderer, likely. Let me see. I could easily just uh, crush the rabble and imprison this man while getting the martial lifestyle. Or this. Well, I'm a man of diplomacy. Oh dear. It would be nice to gain a little gold. Twenty years. Well, uh, again. And this one is to get the control up while I be a master negotiator. The next 15 years, I'll gain 20 acceptance bonuses. The next time I request another character to become the vassal. I'm not here to vassalize anybody. Plus, I'm into learning, not diplomacy. I'm not in the martial leader. So I'm willing to gamble on this. Sounds like to me you may be misinterpreting some charters. 60% chance. That I successfully demonstrate that the leaders of this tax revolt have simply misinterpreted an old law, and therefore this complaint is unmerited. 
39% chance that leaders tax are not fooled by my books and knowledge. What say you? Tax of all the ebbs away. Ha <laughs> ha! Bit of income. The president in front of me seems about to explode Simon. My lord, no miracles, the holiness. We have been blessed. His enthusiastic ramblings are confusing, but I finally get the gist of it. They want me to sponsor a cult of a local saint who has recently died in the Ithaliadi. Abu Dalian was a miracle maker in life, known for killing a dragon with his shoe, for disrupting his sleep and preaching to the birds. His tomb has attracted devoted visitors from all over the realm. Balavadi, where is that? Up there. Well, they don't have a temple holding for the uh, Hindus over there. I would be willing, because that doesn't cost me money. Say no. I'll say, His Holiness will get the veneration he deserves. So, yes. This man here, who is a Tamil Hindu, who is disfigured, irritable, and a wise man, died under mysterious circumstances just today. Ten sixteen. That means he's lived long enough to see the cholas that came and went. But there is nothing known about him, other than say that he's a, a, a cult of a local saint in this part of the Hindu pantheon of Shukura Shaktism, which is still the majority over in in Nagadipa. So, His Holiness will get the veneration he deserves. I'll be willing to spend some money on it, despite the fact that I'm a Buddhist. But, I'm not like my father who was a zealous Buddhist. But, I'm a little open-minded on such things. They'll get their temple. Appa Mogalana, my brother, strides forward, eagerly, clearly eager to hear my response to this position. My brother, the Jayabahu, that's our house, is among the greatest houses of a Jayabal dynasty. Rohan Akhanta should always be heard by the Agarada. Excluding your most qualified and prominent followers only serves the sole division of mistrust. In exchange for greater commitments, of course, so you'll have council rights guaranteed, which demand council rights can be used at will, which is a bit problematic. Are you not part of the council? Yes, you are. But that applies to the whole area. Uh, who knows what my nephew will become if he lives. But increases his taxes to me. That's what I would like to hear. Because we don't gain enough tax. But now, now that I also got 40 gold out of this, time to go to the university. Increased activities, success, progress, illustrious book artifact, and a random skill point. I want to study hard. I wouldn't do this unless if I play as a character who is, well, two things, either lustful or gregarious, <laughs> just a role played effect, and I'm not either gregarious nor uh, lustful, if, if I were to be more of a, you know, a party animal is for lack of a better term, that'll be 300 gold. Six days. Here I am, finally at the gates of Tirpanamanai, a renowned university seat. 
All knowledge is collected inside these hollowed walls, and scholars of repute from all over the world assemble in these same hallways to preserve and increase the true wealth of wisdom. And I'll soon join them. Of course, major centers of culture are also active markets, and offer all the distractions that a student could ever desire. Time to get started. I am reminded, now that I have 200 gold, is it possible I could still order construction of your gauge tanks? No. Because I thought I may need some additional knowledge because it's almost there and I have good learning. Zero base. And I'm glad the cat is here with me. Okay. Oxitanian, Armenian, um, what are you to be exact? Irish and Italian. Well, people do come all over the world to study in certain universities. As I stated before, it's like this university is full of Christians. Although we have no ill will again. Spent the night poring over books then. Haste and assignment. I studied scripture. Excellent. Remember, if you do get to decent studies for tier one, you gain a lifestyle experience and no chance to upgrade your education tree. Now with studies you gain one perk. Three per two and an increased chance to upgrade your education trade. Hopefully I could get up to perfect. As I'm focused on learning. I have scholarship focus. I thought this may help me. I'm suddenly distracted from my midnight studies by loud ear deafening and expensive sound. <laughs> what in the world is going on? Source of disturbance appears to be too pleasant. Siddhartha knows how they got in here. Perhaps they gulped down a barrel of the university's imported tea. This so will teach them what was out. Yeah, I think they're better than us because they can read the yeah, those. An Amazig and a, uh, a what? A good. That is from all the way. Um, show me it again. The good culture. Ah, over here. That's where they come from. I'll just say, poor unfortunate souls. I will see that you learn to read. I'm willing to give away some money. Five months. Study scripture, so more learning lifestyle. I wrote a little poem. A cat hunts her mice. Made for knowledge. I do have a cat that does hunt rats, not mice. The halls of the university often echoes the debates of students and teachers some of which escalates to notorious rivalries between uh, Falco and Abogama. Abogama. Well, I don't know how to pronounce it because that's an Armenian name because I thought it sounded Arabic. Not quite. When I find it today, as there as usual, screaming at each other, trying to prove whose field of study is better equipped for the Jewish Christian, to discuss the Jewish Christian debate. Something less usual, however, is that they suddenly notice me approaching and ask me to take a position. I'm a Buddhist. If you ask me, there is a middle way for this. Let me see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 45% chance that I convinced and please my thesis in which my studies will become massively more successful and grow friendships with both of them. 
close form friendships with both of them while losing stress. But however, 54% chance they think I'm just muddying the waters as I'm falling close to the rivalry too and I gain stress with them. And as I, as I said before, as a Buddhist, there is a middle way. There are great merits in both of those disciplines that you two are trying to talk about. Teachers are unimpressed. Well, it was a, it was a gamble. Would have been benefited me greatly. Failed a study important examination for that. Point. Burst intoxicated into his class. Vikrama collects a goddess shared delicacy from home country. Oh. Yes, Students, we have an esteemed speaker joining us today. My teacher of Alagar exclaims, Let us welcome Brodhi of the almost authority on head and doctrine in Vijaya Rajapura. Greetings. Uh, start solemnly while pressing others. Today we'll be exploring the theological treatise, how it connects to the nature of Odin. The other students straightened up backs and procreated across. It's going to take a long What on earth is this woman doing here? I thought that religion died out. Well, how died out is it, is the question. All oh, a few isolated spots, but I'm sure there's tiny minorities in there somewhere. But click on minorities. So blue is majority. And uh, green is a large minority. Yellow is small minority. So no, they're still um, they're still around in a good way. So they're in good hands. But if one peasant migration of this moves into another, it actually increases its size and eventually becomes a majority. So it's not all quite died out just yet. But anyways. Get back to here. And of course, we Buddhists view, you know, that faith of yours, that faith of yours, not culture, as hostile, or you consider as evil. Let me see. It is a stressful thing to do, but I still lose stress because I'm diligent, and as diligent, I'm just going to be furiously scribbling notes. As much as I'd like to get massive more success, but my combined learning and diplomacy challenge versus hers, who's got good learning, while well, I have much better diplomacy. So just write down. Don't try to gamble for it. Instead of just saying, that's a heretical thought. Based in assignment. Intoxicated. Language of the message. Falco, the one of the respected teachers here, is clearly a foreigner, obviously. His accent and manners betray him as an Italian. While not strictly a servant of my studies, learning his mother tongue would foster a privileged relationship with him, which is bound to be a good investment for the future. Oh, it's a 50-50. Like to be much more successful to get at least get a perk point. Well, this will bring me close to the Magister, so let's see if I can learn Italian. Nope, didn't. Mm. Just getting a bit more stress for this. this study important examination. 
Doesn't look like I'll be tutored the way. His renowned center for studies that hosts both teachers and students from far and near. I had hardly a thought of much of it until today, when a religious reference of Foucault struck me hard as blasphemous and contrary to everything I've been taught in my life. It revealed him as a Catholic, an actual infidel. Well, it depends on who you ask, but I don't know how to feel about it. Much more successful. Oh, just pick either, because one you have high, you study hard, and the other is because you're diligent. You did mention that um, that you're not like your father, who was zealous, and I'm open-minded. And we did build a temple for the uh, Shaktiists. So, for the rest of this character's life, he, well, he tolerates heathens, so he's more open-minded. Treats those of a different faith with respect. Different faith opinion up. You must have so much more to teach them. Not gonna get tier two like the last time. I guess it's just a matter of luck for events like these, honestly. Oh my dear Vikramabahu, you are really learning my beloved Tamil? I feel so appreciative you're making such an effort to understand me. Mahasi Afikara Mati says. Oh, here's Can you help can I help you in, in any way? Teach you some words perhaps? I'll take any help I can get. So, 6 percent chance that she's a good, have it for today's teacher. So, motivated by love. And, uh, 32% chance of things appropriate to start your lessons of words such as Terpsichorean, Transmogrevi, and Lubukus, which I lose progress for three years! Good. <laughs> All right. An intellectual debate. And here in our capital is often a home of fervent debates among teachers and students alike. After a particularly enlightened lecture from a teacher, I find myself dragged to another one debate with another student, Arisa. No, you are making no sense. You are completely rep misrepresented the philosopher's point, I scream. You are completely delusional, he replies. But of course, my eyes see. And then I stare at the pencil book in his face. Last chance to quote the classics. But, as the master said, because it's starting hard, I convinced him. I aced an assignment and fell just short of tier two. I gained a perk, though. No, that's diplomacy, not learning. This has been such an amazing experience. When I left, I couldn't even imagine the number of wise men that study at the Vijaya Rajapura. The depth of their thinking and the breadth of their research, just being part of the same environment has made me a much better person. But if I knew, gained knowledge, I could make my way home this very satisfied. Knowledge is power. Okay, you did gain. A lot of gold was invested in buying the rare and precious books. I saw experience, again, a perk point. No improvement of the education tree. See how the court politics. An elegant tome that shows an excellent understanding of diplomacy as it touches upon subjects such as court politics. The cover is ivory that has been carved to display a repeating image of a detailed fox. Ivory. Well, gotta go for this. For future reference.
switch it. Because we're not plotting anybody. Build a local Buddhist religious center. Oh, it's about time, but we need to raise funds for it. Don't you know how much this costs? It's a wonder. They get a temple holding. We don't have one as of yet. Near the city. Since he's the only one that's going to inherit and all of my other children, if I were to continue to have more, they have no land to inherit. Although I am all for increasing the number of living members, so, so we should do just that. That's an idea. My red blood is set up, puts me in private with a clear doubt in his eyes. He explains that his faith is faltering due to his time spending the card the board against Shavism and his fraternizing with the enemy. His words are not in jest. feels as if the size of could push him away from Sedat. Yet, this is an opportunity to strengthen our fervor as well as our relationship. Someone call a priest. I call upon Rajput of Vipali to resolve the situation. Senator will feel betrayed because he told others about his woes. Remain faithful. How are you doing up there? As I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel a headache building once again. Why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try it again. Like a short miracle, with the aid of a stone of glass, even old men struggling with, with bad eyesight could read with ease. But Polly, I require your assistance. He's gonna get a weak hook on me, but since he is an unlanded character, he could do nothing with it. Although I got my eye on you because you're a lunatic. A chest. How much? Fifty. Save it. My father, the great Agarada Vajaba, who died at old age a long time ago. Yet the flame of his life still shines bright. What surrounded him everywhere now seems to follow me. Many still consider me his son rather than a man of my own right. Just yesterday, an old peasant was praising him as if he was still alive. The time has come to step out of his shadow, to make my mark on the world, to be recognized as the great Agarada Vikrama Bahu. I'm a diligent man, I'm a hard worker, so I'm very determined to become as famous as possible. The world shall remember Vijaya Bahu as my father. But, however, hard work can't pay off if you don't have the money to, you know, to continue the building of the, uh, and uh, insist in the Sangha. Don't forget about that. Court grandeur level zero. That is not good. That's because we had to have cost cutting measures. I'm sorry. There are other ways though. You're a terrible corpses because you're infirm. 
Gee, no wonder. Better fire him before, you know, someone's gonna get hurt. There you go. Somebody who knows things. Average, at least. Just looking. You don't need another bodyguard. You have the giant bodyguard with you. You're safe. That's a mercenary man. Huh. Over here on Otacom. Y'all do. This is just to have an alliance with somebody from from there who is a Theravada Buddhist. And if I would have one more spell, find somebody who's some of all skills. That is of a good age. Keep looking. Keep. Oh, it's actually somebody who is from here. Okay. You got it. Am I willing? Am I willing? That today, me, Dollar, my dear friend, has approached me with an interesting proposal for me to consider. As things stand, Rajasiha, his esteemed friend, although hailing from a very modest family of no consequence, is a very talented fellow that might be very useful in addition to my court. Of course, there are many angles to consider this question, as my prestige in employing a lowborn will suffer. Should I accept this off? I can also reap some marginal rewards in terms of opinion of the courtly faction of my nobles by discreetly announcing that offer fit this opportunity. In the end of being grateful to my friend, and choice is mine to make. I'll say no, I can spend this to my advantage. I'll refuse to offer and use a way to propel my prestige in court of being based on my traits. My stress might change for the better or worse. For seven months, we gotta go to wealth. My son and heir, Gajabahu, is an unusually calm child. When others play their wild games, Gajabahu often withdraws to some silent corner. He does not speak a lot, but I could tell he's always thinking about something. I wonder what's on his mind. Since you have been quite stressed lately, here's something you should be doing. How about you meditate? You have the calm trait. Actually, pet your cat first, and then go meditate. I find Mike outside strutting around the yard. As soon as he spots me, he meows and saunters in order. Over. Rubbing against my leg, I spent many minutes crouched by his side, petting him and scratching him under his chin. And when I stand back up again, I feel lighter than I've been in a long time. Thank you, my friend. Only through meditation we can come to understand the true nature of the universe. Though it means neglecting my other responsibilities, by retreating into seclusion for meditation, I may learn more about myself and the universe I inhabit. I might lose stress, gain traits, 
or even increase my learning skill. Embarking on an inner journey through meditation is no trivial thing. Many preparations will need to be made, at least uh, of which is the site I shall retreat to. The location that I choose to meditate in will heavily influence the outcome of my journey. Small castle, hills, what a secluded forest. Safe and easy place, safe and easy place. Moderately challenging, more likely to lose stress. It was stress over time. So let's go up to the rolling hills of Amalaya. I'm more than likely to gain theological insights at this location. Costs gold to even go to there. Come on. Now I must go meditate. Up to the rolling hills here. The fields of Matella are a sight to behold. Every crop in bloom, every leaf green, every stem loses. I quickly tracked down a source of the, uh, what I'd say, spotting a woman standing in the field, seemingly holding a lecture, also sort of gathering to listeners. My name is Mistress uh, Kituka. Kituka. She noticed me in the distance and turns to my direction. My knowledge of gardening is vast. Yes, incomparably vast. So, stay a while and listen. Malnourished. No wonder why she looks pale. Hmm. Gardener trade would sound nice. Either option is nice. So color me intrigued. I'm a gardener. <laughs> hey, I did gain a trait. That adds stewardship, which is good. And less the stress gain even more. So he knows everything there is to know about gardens, plants, and how to tend them. And finally learned the Tamil language. Of a man of diplomacy and uh no and I somehow I got the five percent. And learned the language involved ruler? That goes towards the accumulation phase. You know, since he's lustful. Well, I am traveling, but you can be friends. You can befriend anybody if you wish. Well, I don't have much in the way of friends other than, you know, that one. Yeah. Avoided meat up there. Can't befriend children. Anyways, on with the meditation. No need to think about friendships. Begin meditating. My uh, acquaintance. Uh, oh, wait a minute. There's two of them. It's two poets. Hang on. First things first. Let's talk about the man himself. So, he has a poem dedicated publicly to me. That Agarada Vijayabhav. No mortal man can uh, the death avert. Their deeds, their acts, their swollen worth. This rare enough for men to admit that they've left behind is shit. I don't know how I quite feel about this. And this court poet also commissioned me this poem. When memoriam takes shape. A hero's end. A, a finished worry of the start. Do it may tear their grievers apart. And when their final hour nears. Wonder will life echo through the years? That poem is mocked. By this one.
Remember, I await. I await until we get the next perk. And I may likely switch to Wealth Focus because of low income. Because I don't hold as much land as I used to. Especially if I made alliances with those who are closely related. My brothers. Half brothers. Unless they do something stupid, which is unlikely. Unfortunately, both Mahavir and Abagiri has fallen of the prominence. Oh, well, we aim to change that. Once we build a Buddhist building, and then things will jump up again. When I return from my meditation, of course. Meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation leads to ignorance. Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back. I remember that quote that the Buddha said. I remember. Open minded. You actually know scientific is more important because cultural fascination. Think of practicality, okay? I try to use that learning for the university stuff. And uh, it, it got me a perk. It's not time to switch lifestyles yet. Not till next year. Okay. Next year I'll switch. There it goes your lines. See, nobody down here is going to form any faction against me. In fact, nobody is. Some are children, others strong hooks. I guess we will have a peaceful reign at all. There will be no tension whatsoever. The clear view from the hilltops of my land themselves. Well, the pensive reflection. The remote location was a significant boon, giving me a welcome reprieve from the daily problems I typically have to deal with at court. I'm glad I took the time to do this. Lost the stress and improved my skill in meditation and uh, call to war. But please remember, if you decline, the level of fame goes down. If we have to intervene, I mean. We're only 2,000 strong, and this is a claim for for this person here, who is the steward of Minbu. Wants Pagan. Whoa. What is that person like? Content, compassionate, just. And what's wrong with her? She is... She just turned 16 recently. <laughs> just a couple of days ago, in fact. Eight days ago. Ambitious, generous, patient. Had a sweet treat. It just sounds like some would think she's unfit for the throne. What is the house tradition of Pagan? Drink your blood, son of Pagan. Huh, what a model. Pride. Favors arrogant, ambitious, and wrathful. Disfavors humble and content. Despite the way it kind of goes against it. They want fair. But it says joins war, but it doesn't say anything about, you know, taking part of a war, right? 
if I were to join? What the hell? Look, I'll intervene. It does not add up to the um, towards purification, but it's catching up again. What did you two do? You plundered a wealth of monasteries. How dare you? And the other? Who did what? The other? You gave land grants to Hindus? I mean, to be fair, most of our Vaishnavas, so it does make some sense. Don't expect me to lead this army, because I'm not the man to do it. Or willing to put put together an army. Forty-two years old, you're the only man who's qualified for it. You may be ugly, but you're a good commander. Let's just hope it's a short war over there. And hopefully it'll be over by the time we get there. Thanks, Siddhartha. I could go inside again. Just wondering. There's me, and I'm no good at that. That's why we're having someone else to lead. Gajabahu's first enrobing. I patiently await the fetching of my clothes a seven times. Uh, my lord, uh, no one can find your garments. I'm surrounded by incompetence, I muttered, storming from my bedchamber. It's in the nursery of my son, Gajabahu. I discovered it's not only my remnants, but also the boy's wetness. I had no part in them, my liege. He dressed himself. Rati to response of a giggle. You're only three years old. I'll just say, that little scoundrel. And yeah, our allies are scattered, unfortunately, so they must have lost a recent battle. So we'll meet up there. We'll be there in six months. Off you go. My offensive wars are progressively causing the economic and social impacts on the population of my domain. Forced conscription, lack of people to tend to fields and services, and a general feeling of despair are causing a significant toll on my populace. Stink saying I cannot for avoid some pernicious effects on the unpopular war I'm fighting on the population I lead. Let's hope that the war doesn't last long. Oh dear. Our level's still good, but again, we're intervening somebody's war. We're trying to stop somebody. No, we're trying to help somebody to push for the claim of uh, this person to the uh, throne of Pagan. Recently, an assembly I sent the, to, to the court of Samantari, Asa of Chitra. That's uh, way over there. was extremely incompetent dealing with the political situation caused a serious diplomatic blunder, the killing of Fenrir. Yesterday I received a missive from his uh, grave ruler stating in clear terms that uh, unless I make amends, internal hate will be in place between us. Knowing beforehand that setting my matters on the chancellor might backfire, turning the bad situation to worse. I need to plan how to deal with this matter. Listen, you're very good at your craft, but you may be dull-minded, but let me see. If I were to send him to fix this issue. It depends on su the success of the option. It depends on positively his high diplomacy skill, which is there. Or if he has a diplomat. He's not a diplomat yet. Is he shrewd? No. <laughs> Negatively, if he has low diplomacy skill, but lacks an education diplomacy where he's dull. 
Oh, I think he has more good than bad, so I'll try to send him over to fix the issue. This is definitely going to cost me a lot of gold for this. Most of that gold should have been going to the, uh, you know, for the construction of a Buddhist uh, building. But I'll tell you what, when we get there, and if we're besieging one of their places, uh, flight planes. Great place to put it. Well, it's not quite a great place to form a defense here. Meanwhile, I hear a commotion from my son, Gajabahu's chambers. Hastening inside, I see the wet nurse, Rajita, playing with Gajabahu. And each perfect timing. Gajabahu took his first step. Shots exciting. Holding my boy's hand, she tries to walk around the room. What else can he do? Fresh him to keep walking. Don't stress it too much. Now, my chancellor reported the day of a major success in his mission to the feelings of Samatati um, Aisha of Chitra. He made a point informing me how the matter was entirely cleared, stating my mind can be at rest regarding this issue. Excellent. Arrange a betrothal from Chara. Oh yeah. Okay. So we'll not have an alliance, but the age difference. I did not construct a building and my holding unless that yeah, that was you. You did this, not I. Oh, no longer a wet nurse. Died of a botched treatment. One of my wives. You could be a good wet nurse. Plus, you get the learning to back that up. I said gesturing in my council to do the same. The most powerful people in the realm are here. I open my mouth to speak. Yeah. I look around a culprit. Yeah. Might hops onto the long tail, purring contently. Butts his head in my hand happily. Oh, we can indeed. Meanwhile, first his lips disappear. Perhaps we can have the animal removed, my lord. We have much business, uh, much important to discuss. Oh, come now, he's no trouble, he could stay. Come here, you little fuzzball. Whatever it is, I'm not paying. Money's going to the war. Uh, yeah, they're gonna get together here, and we need to get together here. Scaring them away. We'll be on the offensive. And if I'm a leader of any siege, we'll be sure to loot for, for money. You know, it's an unjust thing to do, but still. Something has to be done. Let's just hope this military intervention here better not be a costly mistake for all of us here. Present. I assume you're gonna go after Minbu. Actually, you're headed to try to go after the army to cut them off. Okay, then I'll go to Minbu then. Bye, I am Agabodi. Get Minbu and 
then had the Pagan itself. By the way, who's the leader? You are. Okay. Good. As long as they don't take you there, then um, we can try to win here. Five months. Good. Good to have additional tax. Mahasena. Still ship up by two. One second. I should have won. My son too. My hostage, um, Lakshmi Karadevi, uh, grins in my coat. Waving a fond goodbye as he returns his toes. Suddenly, my daughter, um, Kyle Vat snorts at me. Admit it, she sounds angry. You've been growing more and more infatuated with that foreigner. You're more attached to her than me. Your own flesh and blood. Well, that's because you're a grown ass woman. Oh, I would never say that. Clearly, a growing feel that they belong here but isn't quite felt by all. Oh. But as a man of the house, some patriarch, you know I can never replace my family in Kanyan Alati. Increase my diplomacy by one. Just a parent. Father knows best. Hurry, my age. Yet they hear the wetness of Puniyavati rushes me into my son and heir's chambers. She points at Gajabahu in excitement, so I lead towards him as I says, The perfected ones! Looks like he's already a devotee! Don't stress him out too much. Just say, How delightful! Oh no, the Paula. That is a powerful realm. Based on its size. Even though it's led by a dwarf who has a lisp and is stupid. This may get ugly. Remember, for a country of that size, it's going to take them a um, month for two to assemble the whole army. Well, I'm not going to add a lot of money to this. Uh, by the way, how much is loot? 28. Okay. Are we willing to support the Sangha? It's going to have to be less. It's 100. Damn it. Let me see. 25. Gavu pillars. That lessens danger. Got to support it later. If I get up to 300 something because of what we're looting here. And uh, this may help it. You have more numbers than we do. But the Paulas are going to intervene on this matter. And uh, as I said, things will get messy. We may have to loop the hell out of this place. What we're going to do here is going to 
put ourselves and uh, we're going to feel ashamed of ourselves after this war for what we're about to do here. Because I want to support the Sangha so badly. And there's a mighty enemy coming here. Hey. This is the man who we're supposed to put in the throne. Is that correct? Am I crazy? Am I a crazy person? That is him. I, I didn't know you were running this place. Oh, my apologies. I mean, don't worry. You're in good hands. And he's haunted by a ghost. And you're the one that funded the construction of a small Buddhist stupa over there. And you are a patron of the... Uh, <laughs> the patron of... Mahavyana. Now... I step out of my tent. The siege camp sprawls up before me. A mass of sticks, dirt, bodies, and humanity. The smell of it fills my nostrils, foul in the sweet, clean air. What an intoxicating smell. Such a mixture of bodies, mud, sweat, and human waste. Flags flutter in a stiff northwestern breeze, the colors stark and bright against the dune sky. Weary and long haired commanders sit at tables, trading gossip at tall tales. Conferring in private, the urgent whispers drifting on the breeze. My low retainer approaches and informs me that the siege is ended. I gather my bodyguards at the edge of camp. Memory of Minbu stands before me. A wasteland of mud and blood. Charred husk of thatched roof houses and carcasses of animals. In the fields between, the dead and dying lie piled. Wounded men beg for water. Thick smoke uh, curls upwards from the smoldering ruins. Grieving widows and fatherless to hunter huddle under the tattered blankets in the husk of their homes. My men look at me for direction. Normally I'm a forgiving man, but as I said, we're about to do something that just this once. But cause two things, another reason for that. My brother in law, my rather put it wouldn't like me if I do this all the time. But you are in a foreign country. So, let my army run wild just this once. And of course, there are those that still feel this for no matter what. I run wild. I would decide a case by case basis just this once. Release. Apadia. In prison. Because there might be some of them. Release. This is Jensen. Release. Release. He's guilty. Release. You are coming with me, so that way we can ransom you that he must pay for. Fair game, I say. And from there we can support the Sangha. Crossings over here. They have to go a long way around. Plus, they're about to take place too, even though that one has way more loot. Should have gone over there. But I always say the capital has the most loot. But the Palos are about to intervene on the matter, so it's likely they may land here. So, let's go meet them while we can. You stay here, because <laughs> even though we've uh, captured the heir of the country and the direct vassal of the enemy, 
We do have the war score for that. Hold it. Where do they land it? No, they're gonna keep going down that way, likely towards Dagon. Too late for us to do anything about it. Yeah, three months away and they're gonna land it. In days. You have more troops. We're just here to, um, fend off Hala incursions. Okay, we'll support the Sangha. Harder than a schools again. That's 150. Still keeping it on the accumulation phase for it. They're landing over there. Unfortunately, that's deep into the jungle. A long time has passed since I decided to focus simulating the fame of my dead father. Even longer since his death. It is stressful and demanding to step out of the shadow. I still feel the world judging me, not by my deeds alone, but always in comparison to Fajabal. I know I am respected, but is it enough? What more I could do to be remembered? To be more in my life than I ever was. <sighs> There's still much for me to achieve. I want to be a hard worker. I know I can do better. Hills don't go up there. Just go to here and just go parallel. Oh, they're gonna link up with them. I know what they're doing. No, they're not. Bad idea. Just be on constant watch. Defending a river crossing, defending the hills, defensive buildings. We have a better commander, more commander traits, but I think it's got to be a mauling, unfortunately. Because they have the advantage and we don't. They got some good fighters, but ours are better. But will that make the difference? made one of them. Killed one of them, man. It's good. But will it be enough? Because we still have a disadvantage. 13, 14 on the roll. We're outnumbered. And this time we got a big roll. Alright. We got him. Okay, we have captured uh, this nobleman here from Pala and uh, the one who is the Rata of him. So, winning that battle of uh, Tungu, which is where it was. Um, And not to mention there was also a recent occupation here. So they did their part. Twelve months. Oh my goodness, this is a very fortified place. We can't take that. But I think uh, we should assist our ally while we can. Taking a capital would also be beneficial. 
we can defeat them. As might approach yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but freeze him. Castle or oh, Duga has never been free to this ruins before. Give up the good work. Oh, they'll take that in no time. This would definitely be a big boon to the war score. And, uh, oh, my mother, Lidavati. The great queen mother. Died at 67. We did capture their commander. That's why they don't have one right now. You got any unimportant court here? What about this other man? You got any? No, sir. Unimportant. Stop, stop. Cross this here river. Recently I was approached by a cynical look done. Who seemed to suggest an invitation to a curious party organized by myself. I had a roster of participation of several people. All will engage in all sorts of creative sexual intercourse. I can't vouch for this interpretation. As much as the conversation was just in your window, and I could have more on Monday meeting. So waiting for an answer while I attend this party. If I were more lustful character I would do, but not my type. A famous trinket fettler. Not here to buy trinkets. But such business is most welcome here. It's going to be here for about a year before he gets on out of here. Owner is slightly in debt. Let's see if we can try to get one of their armies before they try to escape. We'll engage with them. Though outnumbered we are, but they're slightly in debt, so therefore disadvantage them. More than an advantage. Plus, you have a far better commander. At least we didn't want to fight in the jungles nearby, otherwise, um, the efforts would be in vain. And while the battle be ongoing, Pagan will fall to the allies of ours and then install this uh, man that we have in house arrest of us. In fact, don't forget that, you know, due to the prisoners of war mod. He's actually in the army with us as a prisoner of war, so we're traveling around. Actually, no. Because that happens in battle. Prisoner transit. Friend transit. Is in the army. Okay. So it is a person. Anyways. Huge roll. Eliminated that whole army. And you've captured another one of the direct vassals of the enemy. Don't let him go. As much as I would like to get the other ones. Now who are the other ones you captured? Anybody else landed? What about this man? An experienced hunter, an experienced bowman. Oh, I like him. If we can, bring him to me. And this Bengali man here. Eh, not so much. It is a slaughter. Slaughter at the turn of the century. Does that say any good place to loot? Here. At Ava. On our way.
89%. Take Ava. The money is mine. You formed a new alliance with the Chola. Oh no. I mean, I mean, it's gonna go that way, but we should also be wary that you gotta be thankful that once we put this man, who is my prisoner, <laughs> into the throne of Pagan, and then the Chola will not intervene. They will not attack my land. They wouldn't. I consider this a betrayal. Now we have every reason why you should be rid of. And you've been executing children. Despite uh, your intentions, and I see you will be ousted. My present, we do need assistance for the siege. And if you bring more siege weapons over here, I'll be. Grateful. As a leader of the siege, I get all the loot. I take notice of the performances of my uh, wife here, who's been with me for a long time at a council, um, or among the formal vassals' meetings. I sense she's ever more influential in the decisions being made, any advice being given to me. It is no wonder that this political mastery improves her contribution and long staying influence at large. A talented one. She has gained savvy politician. Which is plus one on all skills. Four months. Three months. There we go. We'll go much faster now. Paula back at the border and they're going to be back on the offense. But by the time we take Ava, war's over. The Cholo has joined the war, but it's going to take a long time for them to mobilize because it's a big country. I have learned that Iraq's dangerous foolishly takes up arms against alongside my enemy, despite sending his son, Barukis, to be my hostage. This petty claim war has lain bare the worth of his promises of peace, let alone his callous disregard for Oh my goodness, don't do that. I'm a forgiving man. Well, every once in a while. Things are not so black and white. You're spared. I have no ill will towards it. We're just here to intervene because we thought it may uh, finance us uh, greatly for Tambabani. We saw this war as a possible investment. But was it a really investment? Yes, we supported the Sangha. But the Padre Venice schools and all that. So we saw this as an opportunity. That's how we view this war, as an opportunity. And plus we have every right to overthrow this, uh, this woman here and replace her with someone who is more kind and content. Hey, he would make an excellent physician. Now, as this war is over, I step out of my tent and rub my eyes. Siege camp sprawls out before me. A maze of tarps and wagons, with hundreds of tents dotting the landscape. A sea of white canvas, fierce flags bearing heldric birds are spread across barren crags. Everything is covered in a thick sheen gray of great damp, like a mud-laden lake. My low retainer approaches and informs me that the siege is ended. I gather my bodyguards head to the edge of the camp. The middle now of Iva stands before me, a smoldering butchery in the fields between a vast sickly black cloud of locust swarms. Yellow bands on a hard shell carapaces are swollen to bursting. Shrill rattling sounds fill the air as Acrid smoke swirls above them, spur through the air. 
The locust descends upon her kin, stripping them uh, bare and leaving a field of flesh and blood and, and a hollow hulk of waste. I scan the ruins of stone houses with lightless windows and crumbled walls. The survivors huddle silently in the streets, nestled up against their neighbors. Mighty eyes look up to see, shuddering. Let my army run wild once more, but this is the last time we're going to be doing something like that. We saw this as an opportunity. We come here and we did it. It was for the money. We did this for the money. Let me see. I mean, was it also controlled by a vessel? Actually, has two titles, Ava and Nava, but we did not imprison this man. Although I could if I wanted to, but is my prisoner. Okay, can we ransom twenty-five? I just want to look at everybody. You got any chum? No. Your mother. Kayukin. That's our name. Is it on that list? Got here. Caravan Master. Guest. Adia. Steward. Spy Master and Physician. Got here. They're all unimportant courtiers. Release them. Now scramble. Thank you. Now call it off. War's over. As I wait outside the burning chamber, each minute feels like a lifetime. When about these screams cease to no invents cry to replace something is wrong, you feel in my bones. The door opens to met the midwife's wretched expression confirms all my fears. I'm so very sorry, my lord. Lady Punyavati, your daughter, are both in Nirvana now. What have we done to deserve this? Oh, I know what's happened. One would think it's all that looting. And all the destruction that we caused there. I may be a forgiving man, but now... Uh, oh, I gotta repent. As soon as this war is over... Declared to be over. Thank you. So, due to the high rank, each of the it's, kind of knights gained the glory. So, travel towards Minbu. So we were holding him prisoner while traveling with us, um, and one would think he didn't seem to mind. Because he's a contented man. Even though he's got the wheezing cough, I'm very sorry. That's you had since birth. Joined Warren family member. No, he forgives me. He forgives. So <laughs> don't worry, we didn't take him too far away from home. So now he's gonna go back to his home in Mindu, the new capital. Even though that evil woman still runs Pagan. Just be glad that um, we supported you on this. And uh, we shall return home. And that means that commander is going to have a long way to get back here. And everyone else too. So now. Now about that Buddhist religious site. For the three jewels. Since I'm all about, I want to be as great as my father. Let's build a temple. More prestige and piety. 100. 200. Large. We could be in debt for a brief while. I believe so. Plus, it. it, it Gives the prominence of all of these increased by 20. 
thus making it less of a chance for purification to go up over time for at least a couple of years. So get to work on it. Hopefully we won't be in debt for too long. We just got to be lucky with this. Extra bones. I'll tell you what. Meditated seclusion again. Let's go to the secluded forest of Mahagama. You're spending a bit. Okay, okay, don't. Let's do it here in the castle where it doesn't cost nothing. It don't cost nothing to stay here in a comfort zone castle. We could borrow gold, but of course there's drawbacks to that policy. Just take the littlest loan. A touch of salt in the cream. That's how Grandita prepares our tea and it's delicious. I once saw her sitting by the balcony with a tray of berries and I had a mischievous itch to snatch a lassie when she wasn't looking. Sawyer crept up behind her and just as I slipped my hand near, I noticed she was already watching me with a grin. I already saved you for those, for you, love, she has amused. Sometimes I think there is no one I'd rather spend time with than my wife. Of all the things we do in this life, we enjoy so many of the same ones. Life can be shared in many ways. In yesterday's meeting, Rick Rama, who's... We can assume he just returned very quickly. It's only whoever's commanding the army is the one that does the travel, okay? In yesterday's meeting, Rick Rama, my useful Senevarat, suggested he could teach me his trade thus prepare me uh, better for warfare life. If I spent time every day close to my forms his job, besides attracting the envy of the other consuls, the offer seems tempting, but certainly by spending so much time with him will neglect the other areas of managing my realm. One thousand! Of course you need three thousand to get a perk. Well, everybody likes me well enough. How many years? Five years? Guess we can balance things out a bit. Plunge into martial matters then. Hey, better prepared for the defense in case the Chola's attack for whatever reason, just to try to get our land because he still has claims. After a careful search, I was discreetly pointed to a cadre of very rich men who could lend a realm some gold, of course. My credit only goes so far, based on my main title. I'm barely informed if I don't repay the loan with the interest of years, a special commission will be charged immediately. Just a paltry sum of a hundred. Gain indebted. That hurts the renown gain and the prestige gain. So, just a paltry sum. Hostage is now a man, and looking forward to be sent home, as is the custom. His father will be certain to be hoping as much. However, I must look to the interest of my own house. As much as I liked having you around, uh, uh, I did not gain a perpetual. That was a 40% chance of that happening. I'll say, stay a little longer. We're doing that just to spite him. Because he joined in in a war in which he was too late. For the renown, I say.
Why the hell not? Develop the capital. Diligent planning. He is honest. Yes, honest is good. Because that is a virtue. Just like with mine. Perhaps, Kajabahu, I can influence you with, um... And honesty gives you a little more towards diplomacy. You're going for stewardship education. That's a good choice. If I had money, I would love to send you to university. But I don't anymore. Hmm. Anyways, I'm thinking. Forgive us what I'm saying. Calm is. Yeah. I would like to give him calm. Hey, now they call me Silver Tongue. Vikramabahu Silver Tongue. I have a way with words that a few others command, and able to turn most situations in my favor. We'll end this episode soon. Spouse mediates with Tanu. Well, you do speak the language. As soon as the meditation is finished, I will end the episode. Treaty to the privacy of my chambers, I begin a period of fasting and meditation. Unburdened by the tried concerns of everyday core life, I soon find myself spending more time than just enjoying uh, simple pleasures in life. I'm glad I took the time to do this. Okay, you know what? Ended on January 1st. So. Now, in a next episode, we got to raise money, repay that loan if I have 200 some odd gold or so. But though, I think there are ways to get more money. I just need to travel more, yes. But the question is, where? Okay, stop here on January 2nd, so that way we can see the current prominence. Because recently, uh, you just did... Your Mahavira. Good. Good, I say, because... Come on, click on it. I saw the prominence earlier. There we go. Still there. We're still catching up. Your Mahavira. <laughs> and, um, again, before we get out of here, I'm just trying to think of an idea. Like, perhaps you may go on a pilgrimage somewhere. If you could afford it, which you cannot. Oh, actually, you're currently busy meditating. Okay, you know what? Wait a few days. There. Now you conclude meditation. Now it pops. Okay, now look again. You have any idea how much it costs now to go on a pilgrimage somewhere? Like, say, over in Lubini? That alone, with the base cost... It's way too much. Even if you lower it. Even if you lower it, that still ain't enough. Well, what about traveling to a far off realm? Like, say, Croatia, for example. I mean, I thought about going to the Balkans because I had this idea. This is a far off realm. I may do that because I need to go far, get the Silk Road merchants. And start making a lot of money. A little exploitive because I use that because I have the uh, travel the distance mod and all that. But still, purification starting to catch up again. Well, accumulation keeps going up, but soon the uh, building a large Buddhist religious site could give it a boost. And when I get that money, build a Grand Irritation Tank. And more. So we'll hope you've enjoyed this episode. So for, for once, there was a little bit of warfare. We had to intervene on somebody else's. And we just hope that... Um, 
that things are stable over there. Now, so we'll see you in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.